The closer the shadow is to the subject, the darker it is. Why do we draw like that? The main source of light on Earth is the sun. It shines with rays that, reaching the ground, fly parallel to each other. If the rays have reached the surface, then we see light. The more rays hit the surface, the more it glows. If something is in the path of the rays, and they have not reached the surface of the Earth, we see a shadow. The fewer rays reach the ground, the deeper the shadow. If the rays of light, reaching the surface, remained there, we would see absolutely black shadows. But this is not the case. Because when rays fall on a surface, they bounce off it and reach another surface. We see reflected light. Rays of light bounce off surfaces not one, but many times, gradually losing the ability to brighten the surface. The angle of incidence of the beam on the surface is equal to the angle of reflection from it. When parallel sun rays fall on the mirror, they bounce off the mirror while remaining parallel to each other. The mirror shines with reflected light. We see a sunlight spot. This is because the mirror is perfectly flat. Most surfaces are uneven. Beams of light falling on an uneven surface bounce off at a different angles. Reflected from an uneven surface, the rays cease to be parallel. It turns out diffused light. Any surface on which the light falls begins to glow itself, reflected, most often diffused light. In the diffused light, the rays fly in different directions. Why we draw a shadow the closer to the subject the darker? When a part of the rays is delayed by an object, a shadow is obtained on the ground. But the other part of the rays, flying past the object, reaches the surface of the earth, bounces off it, then from the object, returns to the ground and makes the shadow on the ground lighter. The closer to the object, the fewer rays, as it were squeezed between the object and the ground and accordingly, the shadow is darker. In that place where the object and the ground are in contact in general, not a single ray reaches. Therefore, the line of contact between the object and the ground can be drawn as dark as possible.